Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a lovely day today. I thought I would do a little sit down video today and talk about creating the perfect capsule wardrobe. You guys often ask me what my wardrobe essentials are and what are the pieces that I think are integral to building the perfect wardrobe. So I figured I would just create a little video about it and it would all be here and I would hopefully answer all the questions that you have. I'm just going to be concentrating on clothes. I think I will do another video that will concentrate more on shoes and accessories and all that sort of thing. I have been probably working on creating this sort of perfect baseline wardrobe built up of you know essential pieces that are in my wardrobe for over two or three years now so i really don't think it's something that you can expect to happen overnight you really have to source out the right pieces for you and you know it's a lot of trial and error i think the idea of a capsule wardrobe is really different for everybody me personally it is creating a strong foundation or a base in your wardrobe of pieces that are really minimal really comfortable and that can be worn again and again. Pieces that are really classic, that are really timeless and that will also go with everything else that you own in your wardrobe. From here, I like the idea of adding slightly trendier pieces, um, designer pieces and also vintage pieces, but I think starting with the essentials, which is what I'm going to be going through today, I think is a really, really good base. So I'm gonna start with tops. And I think there are three tiers of tops that every wardrobe needs and that is t-shirts, shirts and singlets. I think that at the absolute very least, owning one white t-shirt and one black t-shirt is absolutely integral to any wardrobe. I have owned a million and one different white t-shirts over the years and I can without a doubt say that the best brands for white t-shirts for me personally are Arquette, Redone and Uniqlo. It really depends on what kind of t-shirt that you want. I have slightly thinner ones and then I have more heavy weight ones depending on the season. So I think it might be good to have one of each but it is entirely up to you. I prefer t-shirts with a longer arm length and also that are a bit oversized and don't cling to my body at all. Lastly, I think it is also really important to purchase t-shirts that would look good tucked in or also worn out to ensure that they are a versatile piece that can be worn with many different trousers and pants and bottoms in your wardrobe. Next up, I am going to talk about shirts. I think it's important to have one white shirt, one black shirt, and one blue shirt. For shirts, I would recommend either a cotton or silk shirt for everyday wear. I think that linen shirts are good for summer holiday, but they often look a bit too crinkled and you might not get as much use out of them. I think what material you opt for might really depend on the weather where you live and also your profession as different jobs and different lifestyles might require a different style shirt. But for me personally, an oversized fit that is quite loose and feels like a shirt that has come out of my boyfriend's wardrobe is just perfect. I also find that this cut of shirt is usually long enough that I can tie it up at the front if I want to create a different sort of look. That is something that I would often do in summer with a mini skirt and sandals or something like that. During winter, it is perfect to be worn with a jumper over the top or a big coat and it is also super important to get a shirt that looks good tucked in or tucked out. I opt for a blue shirt as I often wear blue jeans and I often wear the color beige so this goes really well together but I think that you could also opt for a different color if you have a different preference such as pink or green or whatever really goes with your wardrobe. Next up I am going to talk about singlets. I think that every wardrobe should have one white one black and potentially also one gray singlet. You could also go for like a beige color or something different, but for me personally, gray is a really versatile color, so that is what I have opted for today. In Melbourne, the weather here is super up and down, but our summers are incredibly hot, and most summer days, the only thing that I can wear is a singlet and shorts in order to stay cool. My favorite ones are from Redone. They are a bit expensive, but the quality is definitely there. They wash so well, and I've actually got quite a few of them as I wear them so often. They go perfectly with a shirt over the top or a jacket or jumper and it starts to get a bit cooler. Okay, next up I am going to talk about outerwear. I'm going to start with jacket. First up is a trench coat. This is a vintage Burberry one and it is my absolute favorite trench coat that I have in my wardrobe. I love that this trench is relatively slim line and really looks good with everything. Nick actually found this piece for me in a vintage store in Melbourne but unfortunately the store is closed now. Next up, I think it is super important to have a woolen coat in your wardrobe. I have one in tan, grey and navy blue, but I think depending on where you live, you might only really need one woolen coat in your wardrobe for winter. It is about looking at what you already have in your closet and deciding what colour would match the best. 
Usually I think people stick to either tan or black, but it is really up to you what you'd like to get. So if you ask me, I think every wardrobe needs a black blazer. If you are only going to buy one blazer, I would definitely recommend that it is a black blazer that is double breasted. I think this way it is more versatile and with double breasted blazers, you can actually wear them on their own with trousers and heels in the evening, as well as open with a tee or singlet underneath during the day. When it comes to buying the perfect blazer, I would opt for one that is slightly oversized, but also not too oversized, otherwise it might not work for most occasions. And the last jacket that I think that every wardrobe needs is a leather jacket. I don't find them ideal for winter, but for spring and autumn, it is the perfect addition to any outfit. This one is from Ira Paris. It is quite an investment, but I think it is the kind of piece you can definitely splurge on. You only really need to own one black leather jacket, and it is the kind of piece you'll keep in your wardrobe for years, maybe even decades. So it is worth spending a bit extra on. I prefer a slightly oversized boxy cut, but you could also go for a slimline style or a biker style jacket instead. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about jumpers. Every wardrobe definitely needs a chunky knitted jumper. I have owned this Acne Studios chunky knit for a year or two now and seem to continue grabbing for it time and time again. I think owning at least one good quality jumper in a chunky knit style is perfect for those cooler days. It is totally up to you what color you opt for in this. For me personally, I like to go for beige, but I think black, navy or cream would also work well too. Next up, you really need to own a cashmere jumper. I have quite a few of these and most of mine are all from Uniqlo. I think the quality of their cashmere pieces are amazing and also the price point is very affordable too. It is up to you which style and color you go for. I would recommend gray, black, cream or tan and I would also recommend a crew neck fit. I have this one here in a v-neck as the crew neck one is actually in the wash as I wear it so much but both styles are very timeless. So lastly for outerwear, I think that every wardrobe needs a fleece jumper. I have one in grey, black, and I am wearing the white one. This is the perfect piece to wear around the house, but you can also really easily dress it up with a blazer or a trench coat over the top and some jeans. I think these look really good in any color, and I've seen people wear them in green and pink and blue, but for me personally, white or black are my preference. So the next item I think that every wardrobe needs is the perfect little black dress. I have quite a few little black dresses in my wardrobe as I like to have some options. So I've got a couple that are longer or shorter, some that are more dressy and some that are more casual. I think that my absolute favorite little black dress that I have in my wardrobe is this one from Orson and Iris. It is such a versatile piece and it can be tied so many different ways. It can also be worn either as a mini, a midi or a maxi dress. I think for the perfect little black dress, you really need to look at what your body shape is and what your style is and what would flatter your figure the most and source one that you know you'll feel the most comfortable in and be really happy to wear time and time again. You might want to own a long sleeve LVD instead if you don't want one that shows off your arms. I do love this one which is also from Orson Iris. It's a wrap style dress so it's really flattering around the waist and sort of brings everything in and it also isn't too short as well. Alternatively, you might also want to opt for a maxi style little black dress if you prefer to not to have your legs exposed. But I think this is really personal preference and really just depends on what style you're vibing or what you feel like you would wear the most in your wardrobe. So next up, I'm going to talk about bottoms and I think I'm going to start with my favorite type of bottoms, which if you follow me on Instagram, you should already know the answer. It is definitely blue jeans. My favorite brands for blue jeans are Levi's, Redone or A Goldie. I have blue jeans in many different cuts and colors, but I think you only really need two cuts of blue jeans. I think that you need one looser pair of light blue jeans which can be worn for more casual occasions. And next up, you wanna have one darker blue denim jean that could be easily dressed up with boots and heels or dressed down for everyday wear. I prefer to go for a more rigid, thicker denim and I don't love when my denim has too much stretch to it. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable initially, but this will loosen up once you start wearing them and eventually they'll fit you perfectly. Next up is black jeans. I have quite a few options, but I think if I was only going to go for one pair of black jeans, I would opt for a straight leg black denim jean. In saying that I do still have a lot of other dark denim jeans that I wear quite a lot, I really love these ones from J Brown Jeans. And I didn't try them on for you, but I have photos of myself wearing them on my Instagram. So I'm just going to insert the photos here. Next up is obviously black trousers. I think what style you opt for really depends on your day-to-day -day life and also your preference. For me personally, I prefer a straight leg, which is relatively loose at the ankles and also super comfortable at the waist. It's something that I would wear with both sneakers during the day and boots or heels in the evening. It might also be helpful to own a lighter colored pair of trousers as well. Super easy to create outfits with trousers in warmer months. I have this pair that I've been wearing a lot from the Frankie store in beige, but you could also go for a cream or a white pair. I do prefer trousers to be more a straight cut leg as I think it is more flattering, but it is completely up to you. So next up is skirts. 
I don't really wear skirts that often. I am actually more of a pants girl, as you probably already know. But when I do wear a skirt, I would typically go for a mini skirt or a silk black midi skirt. I love this one from Acne Studios. I've worn it quite a lot. It is super chic, simple, and the buttons in the front add a cute little detail. For a midi skirt, I would recommend going for black or navy, as this is the most flattering color to wear in this style of skirt. Last but not least, shorts. I used to wear denim shorts so much when I was growing up. I think I used to own a hundred different pairs. But as I've been getting older, I feel like I'm not really wearing them as much come summer. I have still kept two pairs in my wardrobe though, one black and one blue, and they are both vintage Levi's. But for the last couple of summers, I've mainly just gotten the most use out of the black pair. In come summer this year, I'll definitely be wearing more linen or fleece style shorts. I love these gray ones from Weekday Store. They are super comfortable, a bit more casual, and I feel a little bit more me in them. Okay guys, that is all. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Feel free to ask me any questions below that you have on this topic. I would love to chat to you guys further and hopefully help you create your perfect capsule wardrobe as well. Bye guys, I will see you in the next episode of Lockdown Diaries.